Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse and today we're looking at the Castles of Tuscany. This is a release from last year from Stefan Feld. And Stefan Feld is something, is a designer we have a lot of games of. So this was a must to pick up. Recently went on sale, had to get it. The reviews are mixed, but the people who like it really like it. So we wanted to check this one out. So let's find out what's in the box. So while I peel off the plastic, I like to tell you about twitch.tv slash heartboard games, where we play games, many games from Stefan Feld. In fact, it's been a while since I've gotten into one. Like I play Castles of Burgundy all the time on Board Game Arena in a game right now after just finished a game. So it's just a constant thing. Um, but yeah, Castles of Tuscany, for some people say, this replaces Castles of Burgundy. Do I think I would fall into this crowd? I don't, but I still want to give it a go. I really like the art choice. Really matches the new Castles of Burgundy, which I'm not a fan of. I like the old art. Let me know where you stand on that. You like the new Castles of Burgundy art? All right, we have some little cards here. We have some little uh, wood pieces here. We'll look at those in a second. We have all of the rule books and all of the languages. Uh, Stefan Feld always gives decent rule books, in my opinion. Five different languages covered here. We will be using the English one, and all these will be set aside. Um, seems like a waste of paper <laughs> to have them like that, but what do you do? You could sell different ones, and then you don't know, you know, this, for, this way they only have to print one type of game, and there it is. I don't know. What do you do? All right, so... You can go with online rules, but who likes that? I like opening a rule book. So it's the uh, the standard. A lot of uh, Stefan Feld's games have the row on the inside and then the row on the outside. I like that style of rule book. It's like put it in short, and if I need to read more about it, put it you know, lengthen it. I really like that. It seems to be a short book. Cool. All right, extra bags. And then I think from here on out, oh yeah, okay. The board and everything else. It does have that uh, Aaliyah bottom there. Am I saying it right? Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Here is this board, a two piece puzzle. And then we have all these sheets here. So that looks very much like Castles of Burgundy. And this seems to be a uh, board you put together. I'm using the glare to show you where the cuts are. There's another board for players, I imagine. Each player is going to have one of these. Just seems the way things are. Yep, because there's five of them. Four of them. Was the first one that? No, the first one's not that. So there's four of them. Which just makes sense. Then some more of these. Cool. All right, we can put that actually back in the box. We'll get to the, well, we'll pop those out later. This can stay here. Last thing we're going to look at are these cards and these wooden pieces. So I just have to peel off this plastic where I don't tell you about twitch.tv, but I'll tell you about this YouTube site. Subscribe if it's your first time, we appreciate it. Always happy to grow with you. All right, do lots of unboxings here and playthroughs. All right, so, oh, my apologies. Oh, by the way, everything here is live, <laughs> if you didn't pick up on that. Uh, okay, that's just the back. Whoa, is it? Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay. I thought that was just... Hmm. All right. It's like a foreign language because I have no idea what this means. These all look the same to me. 
All right. I guess the uh, the other this side is the uh, the side that matters. Maybe shuffles up and then reveals these in a certain way. Lots of card play. Oh, lots of little wagons. It's funny with Fell that you see these things and you're like, oh yeah, that kind of looks like X game or some other game I played. All right, we have the workers, little orange workers. They may look red, but I assure you they're like orange. Colors on camera can be inaccurate. This is red. This is orange. You kind of see the difference there. Then we have some hex uh, blocks. And we have slightly strange cubes. More like a rock. And then, yeah, then just the player color stuff. And that's pretty much it for Castles of Tuscany. Looking forward to playing this new Steffenfeld game. In fact, I need to revisit my old Steffenfeld game. Which one's your favorite Steffenfeld games? Um, Castles of Burgundy, really high up there for me. But we can talk more about that when we do a top 10 Steffenfelds. If you haven't checked out our other top 10s, check them out right now, right here on this channel. Subscribe. And until next time, the box is closed.